Epstein with a working camera, so I am back. What a fiasco that was. All my fault. Uh, and we are now on Wednesday, and we are at the uh, September 29th, 2021, at about 8.30 a.m. So the market is attempting a rally. It was a bit higher earlier. It gave that up, and the market's come back. There's really been no news to speak about since it's been moving like that. Gold has given up $10 from earlier morning gains. Look at silver, plunging 76 cents lower. This is not a small break, folks. That's a big break. Copper market's still under pressure. Evergrande, a lot going on there as reconstruction. Is that the right word that maybe they'll use uh, in China as to how they're going to try to resurrect direct parts of it and sell off parts of the company. I doubt that they're going to protect the bondholders. It's not looking that way so far. The dollar, again, hurting all the currencies, except the yen, which is getting a small bid today. Energy prices, the first break in a while. I would expect to see the pros step in and buy this little bit of a dip. And we're still back and forth in the grains. Look at how they took the beans down and did a washout early in the morning, and it's come back since then. That'd be a sign that maybe the market's fishing for that bottom that I've been looking for. I'll be looking at it and paying attention to it for a while here. Now, let's take a look at what we've got. The MBA mortgage market recap. So the index itself came in at uh, 73.49, down from the prior week. You can see, in fact, all the categories were a little bit lower. Higher interest rates, scaring off people, you can count on that. The National Association of Realtors, those numbers are going to come out at 9 this morning. Japan finally has elected now a new prime minister. He's not in office yet. He has to be approved by the lower house on Monday. And then from there, there's a November 28th, another round of elections to get the cabinet. And can he get a ruling majority? Where is he going to be? As I said, Evergrande Group, so let me explain this. There's another big payment due today of $47.5 million on a bond interest. I don't know if it'll be paid. The government there has forced Evergrande to sell its stake in a bank for $1.5 billion. You say, ah, that's pretty good. Not really, because what's going to happen with that money is immediately it went back to the bank to pay down monies owed to the bank. So it's a wash, but it gets a little debt gone, and the government is now pursuing other property developers to buy up some of Evergrande's assets. The question is, will the banks work with them to do it, or is it just going to be a transfer of those assets? You never quite know there. When we look at the Eurozone economic data, it's coming in. Okay, these are not bad numbers, all right? Uh, so the market's getting itself out of all the problems. In Germany, the Federal Statistics Office, they're reporting that the increase on import prices is the largest since 1981. What market do you think is causing that? I bet it's crude oil and other energies. And the UK, they're not standing still. Now the Army, and this is what I predicted uh, earlier in the week. In fact, last week I said they're going to have to deploy the Army to move uh, with their tankers oil to the petrol stations, and it's exactly what they're going to be doing now. Uh, they can't get the lorry drivers, uh, and that's a real problem. They have, they have some issues there that they have to solve, so we'll see where that all goes. I want to remind you also that, you know, I start you off every morning. If you're like me, you wake up, what are the markets doing? You know, I'm still laying in bed. I flick on one of the stations that I watch. Okay. And by the time I have that cup of coffee, what do the charts look like? Well, that's where I want to be with you. I want to be that guy that you say, what is Ira thinking of the chart action? I, I, I'm thinking of buying Brent. Market's down a little bit. What is he saying? What's the chart action look like? That's where I want to fit in. And I want to fit that in on the weekends for the longer term charts and during the week for the shorter term charts. You can watch this on your phones, your uh, Apple, Android, it doesn't matter, tablets, your computers. It makes it easy. And I start you off with the news every morning telling you what of importance is going on. So I'm saving you a lot of reading, helping you work through that. I cover over 40 charts. All the major markets are typically covered by me in that. So how do you get this? It's simple. You go to our website at www.irapstein.com. Go up to the word research. It's all right there. It explains everything. You have other packages as well. Take advantage of it that way. I'm I. Rapstein. You have a great day, and I'll see you at the end of the day. And you know I'm working now uh, with our market wrap-ups. Take care.